So number 11, right, says evaluate, right? And evaluate simply means the same as simplify, right? But you're actually finding the value at the end. Okay, it's no different to what we've done before. Okay, but this time, yeah, it's a negative fraction as we've seen before. So we've got to think about like sort of like flipping it, yeah? Um, but the issue you've got here is actually the thing itself isn't a whole number, it's a fraction. Okay, so how are we going to deal with this? Are we going to sort of write this as one over this sort of fraction and then it'll be positive half? Well, that will kind of look quite big, won't it, in terms of the fact that you'll you have a fraction one over and then a fraction on the bottom. But think about what we actually did up here, right, you know, with the previous questions. As I said, if it was a negative power, I said to flip it and I write it as one over. Because actually we could think of 8,000, couldn't we, as a fraction? We could think of 8,000 as 8,000 divided by one, couldn't we? We could think of that like that. We don't, we don't write it down like that, but we, we can think of it as a fraction, 8,000 divided by one. And essentially what I'm doing then with a the negative power is I'm flipping it, okay? So the one goes on the top, 8,000 on the bottom. However, if it's already a fraction, I don't have to write it as 1 over, I can literally just flip this fraction. So I can write this then as 9 over 25, okay? So flip the fraction, but the power then becomes positive, all right? So just go back and think about what I did there, okay? If I wrote that as a fraction, I'm flipping that, and then I, I change it to a positive 2 thirds. Well, here it's already a fraction, so I can just flip these and change it to positive. Now, what's good then is, right, when you've got a fraction, right, to a power, okay, you can split up the, um, the, the fraction in terms of the power. So you can rewrite this as 9 to the power half, okay, divide by 25 to the power half. Okay, you can do that. You can apply the power to each term. And then, of course, just remember what the power half actually means. Square root, yeah? So square root of 9, square root of 25. And we know what the square root of 9 is, 3. We know the square root of 25 is 5.